Right. Have you ever tried to paint your own home or a room in your home and wonder why it never looks as good as when the professionals do it? This morning we're going to reveal some secrets for you. The Home Pro Show is here. Let's get straight to the host of the show, Clint August. Hi, Clint. Morning, Heather. How are you? I'm fantastic. Good morning. You know, we're excited to have uh, John Peake from Peake Brothers Painting in the business for more than 32 <laughs> years and one of our trusted pros on the Home Pro Show. And, you know, to get that professional look, I would have to say that along with some tips he's got, also it's in the prep. That's how you're going to have a fantastic paint job. John, how are you? I'm doing well. Thanks right. for having me on. Absolutely. Greg Cantor, Murray Lampert, design, build, remodel, 30 years in the business. Uh, will certainly vouch for John's work, but show us some of the tips. Well, to start off, you know how when you doing your own painting, you roll the wall and it's got hair in the paint. So I want to show you a little trick. Greg, can I get around you here? Always used to bother me too. This, I did it for about a take month. Take your roll of tape. Put it underneath your foot to hold it up there and strop it like this. Now, you may not be able to see that on the television, but there's all kinds of hair on this tape here. So I go up a little higher until there's no more hair coming out of the roller. That's how you get a good clean paint job on your wall. That's about a 25 cent fix right there. Yeah, that's, know, a, that's a good one. I know the use for this. Turn around, Clint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get on my back. No. Yeah, what is this for now? Now, this is a carbide scraper. The blade itself is carbide, and it stays very, very sharp. So when you need to do prep work, getting loose paint off exterior or even an interior trim, just push down a little bit and pull, and it pulls the paint off really cleanly. So all you have to do at that point is give it a little sanding. So this is a very important tool and worth investing in if you're going to do your own painting. 20 bucks? That's about 20 bucks. Yeah, that's well worth it. Yeah. So John, you do all kinds of um, painting from residential, simple houses to historical, commercial. Yes. Prep is key. Tell yes. us how you prep a home before you even put any paint on the wall. Well, the first thing to do is to get the mildew and dirt off the house. I didn't bring a water blaster with me today inside the studio, it'd make a big mess. But I did want to show you uh, a tool here that when so many of those old structures have lead on them that it's very important that when you're doing your sanding, this is what a professional would be using. It's, this is a, uh, a vacuum cleaner with a HEPA filter, and this is called a Festool sander. So every time I turn this on, the vacuum turns on while we're doing our sanding. So it keeps the environment clean while getting you a good prepared surface. Great. All right, this, this really caught me uh, earlier. Because I, I, I was serious when I said I used to paint for a while. What job haven't I had? Yeah, and I would yeah. never qualify to work for your company because you have to be good at it. <laughs> but this is just awesome. This is called a hand masker. And if, again, if you're going to be painting at your house, you want to get one of these. You buy the paper separately. You buy the tape separately. Put them on this machine and watch this. Can... <laughs> there. <laughs> like wrapping a present. <laughs> So this is important when you're masking off baseboards uh, or masking off windows that you're where you're going to be painting the siding. So this is just a great tool to own. Now, just before we get into our social media question, and you can uh, get us a hashtag home pro uh, help real quick now, rot. When you have rotted wood, you really need to make sure that's repaired. Yes. Super important with rot. The least expensive thing you can do if it's easily removed the piece of wood is to remove the piece of wood, prime it on all six sides, and then put it back. Caulk it in place to keep water out. Now, if you can't replace the wood, like it's a sill or something like that that would be very expensive to replace, dig it out really, really well. And a, a five-in-one tool, you can get these over at Frizee. Dig the thing out, and and uh, if you have an electric drill, drill out all till you're down to clean wood. Okay. And then fill it properly, right? Then you fill it properly. Deep, deep repair. The, what you need to use is an epoxy impregnator to get into the wood and harden it, and then some epoxy filler. And all you, right. You have a winter special, right? Right now, going sure on. Sure do. To keep, we've got 10 men taking care of 10 families, and to keep them busy feeding the family, uh, we'd like you to give us a call. We have a really nice discount on labor for the month of February. All right, uh, you can see John Peak at Peak Brothers Painting. Really quickly, the social media question, how often should you repaint the outside of your house? Ah, uh, depending on the location, I tell people between seven and 12 years. All right. John Peake, Peak Brothers Painting, Greg Cantor, Murray Lampert, Design, Build, Remodel, Heather. You can make your house look fabulous for uh, not a lot of money. Fantastic, guys. Thanks. ApprovedHomePros.com, again, is the website to find the folks over at Peak Brothers Painting and any other local approved home pro. Have a great Monday.